Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page six. Page six is very simple. It's only going to have one feature, which is a pocket. Okay, this is from the 8x8 collection pack. And this is from the 12x12 collection pack, and it matches or it pulls in the patterns from page seven. Yeah, page seven. So they'll be across from each other. All right, so this was all I had left of this pattern and I wanted to pull it back in and it's a little bit shy of my pocket, which was four by nine, four by nine, score three or score half inch on three sides. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually trim it to fit. Um, I had looked at some strips to lay here. Well, we could do that too. Um, we did that on page two. I added a coordinating strip. Actually, I like it. So that's what I'll do. I'll add the strip and then I'll trim that to fit. It'll need to come down just a little bit more. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Okay. Sorry, there is air conditioning noise in the background, but um, I just can't work around it today. It's just too hot. So I'll, um, I'll edit my video and get as much of that out as I can. And I appreciate your patience with that. You can always turn your sound down because I do run a banner with the measurements so you don't have to listen to me or the background noise if you don't want to. There's a workaround. So when you're doing a thin strip like this, look at your border all the way down because it's very easy to get a wave in paper that's this small, you know, have it be wavy. And you won't really notice it on the edge that much, but you'll notice it next to your, your pattern that you place on next to it. Okay, I'm going to trim this down to fit. We're going to attach it to the base page. Now I've mentioned this many times before, but I'll say it again, when you're color blocking like this, it's important to mark the top and the bottom just in case this piece did not go in straight. And, and that way you'll have an even border. You can visually straighten it out by just cutting a slight slant into the paper. So I mentioned on page three, one of the reasons this is such a simple page is page, uh, um, the opposite or the back side of page six is page five and it's a very heavy page. So I'm trying to keep things a little lighter on this side to balance the weight. Page four and five are the heaviest pages in the book without photos. And once you put photos in, they'll just get that much heavier. So I really limited the number of flaps that I was putting on. Pockets are not so bad because you're really only putting cardstock on one side of a pocket. A flap has cardstocks on front and back and underneath. In this case, there's really nothing under this. Okay, and then this is from the 8x8 collection pack and it's gonna slide slightly into the pocket.
<laughs> it was grabbing a little too quickly. Let's turn that over again. Okay, there we go. Nice and simple. Um, I'm definitely going to put some ephemera cards and photo mats in here. I'm just going to use that as a reminder. And um, I'll pick my papers based on what scraps are left over. I'm not sure I'm doing inserts in this album because I'm not sure I'm going to have enough paper left over, um, which sometimes I don't when I do an 8x10. Um, and if I don't have enough paper for inserts, I'm going to glue the, um, the outside edge closed. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in. Be back soon.